Hey guys, welcome back to Soul Love. It is Saturday, uh, September 12th, out in the garden dropping some seeds, lots of seeds today. Um, and I thought I'd bring you guys with me. So I'm planting peas today. So let me show you what I have. Some King Tut purple peas, some mammoth melting sugar peas, and then the sugar magnolia tendril peas. So this is a bed that I once had uh, tomatoes in there are some carrots that are planted back there uh, which are supposed to be a really good companion for um, tomatoes so I have kind of raked back the soil um, for where I'm gonna plant these peas and I cut the tomato plant down to the root just to allow the root to compost in place so I'm not really too worried about that being there um, so all I'm doing again is just raking back the soil because you don't want to plant directly into the wood chips and then we are going to add in some soil that I mended um, from old potting mix and um, there's some worm castings in there from my worms there's some compost and um, I'm also going to add my little blend, my mix here, of the blood meal, bone meal, and the uh, langbanite uh, minerals, which gives me a 12-12-22 ratio. I'm going to go grab a little bit more soil, so give me just a second. Alright, that looks pretty good. Um, so I just needed a little bit more. I added like three more um, containers, about that size. So now I'm going to sprinkle on just a little bit of the uh, amendment that I mixed together. I'm not adding a lot. So the cool thing about peas is that they are nitrogen fixers. So this could be a really good um, crop for you to plant. Um, even if you don't necessarily eat the peas, <laughs> um, of course you could pick them and give them away like if you don't like peas, but could be a really good opportunity to fix some nitrogen in your soil and that's really with most beans or all beans really. They do fix nitrogen into the soil, um, you know, for the next growing season or plants that are around them. All right, so let me open up these packets. All right, so I plugged in my labels. Um, that's for the mammoth melting sugar pea down there. So I'm gonna sprinkle a few into this container and get to planting. So space them about what, about two and a half inches apart, maybe. Good. The King Tut, which that's what the seeds look like, and that's what the will look like. So we're gonna do about the same spacing on those. All right, let's move this label up here. Okay, let's put these back in here. All right, lastly, we're adding the sugar magnolia tendril, and that's what that one looks like. All right, I'm trying to plant close to the drip line. And I'll probably end up moving that a little bit closer to my row, um, just so it'll be easy to water. So now all I'm going to do is cover them with the soil. You don't want to plant them too deep, um, but no, like no more than the width of the seed. So. 
actually. And then we'll pat. And then we'll come in and water them. Yes. So that's that. That was easy peasy, right? <laughs> it was so cheesy. So um, let me know if you have planted your peas at yet. Are you harvesting already? Are you just getting them into the soil? Do you start your peas in uh, seed starting trays? Uh, drop some comments and let me know, guys. So I hope you're doing well. Um, please uh, stay tuned for the next video. Bye, you guys.